everybody. How you doing? You coming over? I got lots of hot dogs. We just got two here right now. It's a it's pretty late, but it's been dirty out. It's been raining, raining, raining. Since that's why I can't sit over there. It's been raining now since uh, Monday, so I couldn't get anything done in the barn. Not a thing, because I don't want to track muddy boot prints and everything in the into the barn. Come on. What? Oh, you want? <laughs> Do you want me to give it to you? If I put it through there. Okay, you got it? There you go. It doesn't want to come out. So I spent the afternoon stripping the uh, the music room. There's no uh, instruments in there now and i got to tear up the carpet. And uh, I'm going to throw the old carpet out in the barn because when the barn comes down that's all going to go too. And, uh, and tomorrow I'm going to Take the bed apart downstairs in the other room, and I'm gonna get it out. And I got McLean flooring going to come in, and they're going to uh, put new carpeting down both rooms, plus going across the hallway. Uh, those carpets are done; they're 25 years old and pretty raggedy looking. But I'm going to get that same stuff I got up in the bedroom. It's uh, sort of like an industrial. Uh, flat carpet and it's um, easy to maintain and it's easier to vacuum. So, so that's what I want. I was, I was thinking about laminate floor, but you know what? For down there, I don't. I don't think that. I don't think I'd want that. And then you got to take the doors off the closets, and you have to um, cut the doors, you know, so they fit. So I'm just gonna leave it with the carpet now and uh, here you go leave it with the carpet and I don't have to change the size of the doors just put the doors back on and I thought I was going to have to take the uh, the molding off but I didn't because it's it's fit right to the mold it's right to the molding so anyway I'll let them lay it. They know what they're doing. I laid all the carpets everywhere else. What do you want? You can't fit through there. You're too fast. Yes, you are. You're such a big boy. You ready? <laughs> I don't know where the rest of them are. It's late, too. What time is it? It is... Twenty after eight. These are the only two raccoons we got so far. <clears throat> but you know it's going to get less and less and less. You ready? You ready? There you go. So uh, anyway, Nigel from uh, Australia. Here we get another one coming. Thank you. These are the hot dogs that you bought, by the way, through Walmart. And uh, they called me tonight and they said the order was ready. Come here. So, uh, here. So anyway, the order is ready. There was dog food and hot dogs and, uh, and the cookies that they like. That's one of the wild ones. He just grabbed a hot dog and took off with it. <clears throat> so anyway, Nigel from Australia, thank you very much. Uh, but I gotta tell people don't be sending any more food because uh, these guys are going to be gone in a couple of weeks and uh, I got no place to put it. So, especially perishables, you know. We'll have to go to the food bank. We'll have to go to the food bank. Yeah, we've done that before. I had so much stuff here to go to the food bank and SPCA. There. SBCA, we're glad to get it. I was talking to a lady today. Uh, where she said she was from? Uh, the 
Poconos. And she said that uh, she's tired of feeding raccoons, but they're, uh, she said they don't seem to want to be going. Do you want this? Can you see him there? Let me see if I zoom him in. There. Look at him. You ready? Are you ready, Freddy? <laughs> That's what he wants me to do. He wants me to feed him there. I'm hoping that uh, Woody would show up. Because if Woody shows up, we can see him on that angle. What you doing there, little fella? What is it? Are you a good boy? Are you a good boy? Yes, you are. What a good boy. Yeah, they like to go in the little corner and eat. So the two girls at uh, Walmart that looked after getting me getting the food, I had to leave them with the... A card each and autographed them. And one girl said she just lives past here in Springville, so she didn't know that uh, it was a local person. She saw the video, but she didn't realize it was a local person. But why did that move now? No, that's all right. There. Yeah, she didn't understand it was a local person. And uh, I watched your video, Bob, uh, with you and George. I didn't realize George likes raccoons, but George the Goose does like watching the raccoons. And Connor likes watching George. Especially when uh, Bob goes down to the dock to feed all the geese. He's just mesmerized, but I, I have to put it on. I can't dare put it on the big TV because he jumps at it. And uh, same thing if I put a wildlife show on, he uh, he almost he almost knocks over my TV. You coming over? What you do and what you doing? There you go. Do you want one too? Do you want one too? Here you go. There you go. Look at that. Oh, you're not safe distancing. You get your mask on. If you're not safe distancing, you guys are touching bums. Yeah, Halifax is shut down for two weeks. All the stores are closed and everything. We're still open here. Uh, the virus is not bad up this way. Because most people, uh, like any time you go anywhere, you'll see everybody's got their masks on. Look at this now, look. I don't know why he won't come out. He wants me to serve him. Oh, there now. Look. There, they're all going to run. They're all going to run. He's staying there. See, they hear me talking. I should get my dog whistle out. I don't know why they run. I mean, they're they're way across the road. They're not even close to here, but. But they got scared a couple of times when they came over here. And one fella went right up on the roof. He was so scared to death. They came right up on the deck here. A friend of mine was here feeding them. He said, Jim, them dogs are right up on the deck, he said. You want another one? Look. Here. Come here. Look. Come on. Boy, what a difference. Uh, Compared to the night I got mauled. Yeah. 
and the temperature is about, what is it here, 42. Yeah, it's 20 degrees where Bob and uh, George are. And I was looking at the globe the way the uh, the lines go, and we are we are lower than Wisconsin, so that's why we're not getting the big winters that they do. Come here. Come here. You coming out? Look. Oh, he's still got a hot dog. He's still eating. <clears throat> but anyway, uh, I could just shut this off and I'll... Uh, there might be a bigger crowd later on. I think that's what I'll do. Yeah. We'll just, we'll just put her on hold here for now. And uh, I'll fold up my chair. bring the hot dogs in. You want to leave a couple out. Yeah. Okay. What is it? What? You want service? Is this what you want? You want service? <laughs> so, this is the box that came. Uh, There's cookies in there and it was full of hot dogs and a big bag of dog food. So, Now, and I got three kinds of grapes. I got the big, the big green ones either. Look at the size of them. And then I got these black ones. And I got the red ones. And Mr. Connor is in my chair. Who said you could be in my chair? Connor? That's my brand new chair. You're, he's supposed to be over there on that one. Connor? Connor, look. What are you doing in my chair? You're not allowed in that chair, Connor. You don't care, do you? He says, I'm the boss. Go away. It doesn't bother me. All right. We'll get down here. You guys remember my music room? With all the, the drums and the keyboards and... Well... <laughs> this is it here now. I gotta vacuum that mat. That's the mat for the... Uh, the drum sit on. Anyway, she's empty. We're gonna tear that carpet up tomorrow. And... Uh, empty the closet. This is... Uh, a friend of mine sent me this is a little birdhouse. Isn't that neat? Yeah. I think that's neat. That's Linda Law. We're doing another, we're doing, we did a couple of Christmas songs together. Anyway, that's, uh, that's neat the way that works. So, the carpet is ready to come out. And I think we have somebody over here. Yes, we do. The little girl. The little girl. Everybody likes to see Charlotte. So all this is coming out of here tomorrow. We're going to tear the bed apart, strip the bed. and That's going out in the basement. The computer, I uh, have to take all that apart. So... Raccoon Whisper. 
So that's all going to come apart. And I got two laptops upstairs, so I can use them in the meantime. <clears throat> so, Charlotte, Charlotte. <laughs> So this is uh, this is where we dumped everything. That's the uh, the drum kit there. The stands. This is the uh, three tier stand. It all folds up, and the speakers are all down. And so we just all the music stuff is stuffed here, and the bedroom stuff we're going to shove down here. So. I'm hoping I'd like to get another one of these benches. I bought that at Canadian Tire. It folds up. And I'd like to get another one uh, for the barn. It's just the right size. Anyway. And I always got everything hung up. <clears throat> This is uh, one of my keyboards here, and I got another one here and another one there. So we get them all packaged away. Those cords are, I think I'll throw them out. I don't think these work. I never tried them out to see if they work. If they don't work, I'm going to toss them out. I'll put them out here. And Jim's diner sign, and uh, and I have um, that thing there. My stepdaughter gave me that's a four foot blow up raccoon for Christmas. You set it out in the front lawn, and it lights up. And uh, but the weather's been so nasty that you can't do anything. Anyway, I want to take this out of the camera, and we're going to go and uh, and uh, put this up online. <clears throat>